Hi, my name is Nicole Franklin. I'm one of your pre-arrival advisors of International and Student and Scholar Advising at Penn State Global. Let's walk through your Form I-20. This is a sample of your Form I-20, also known as the Certificate of Eligibility for the F-1 visa application. We will review the personal information, school information, your program of study information, the financial information. Your personal information will be in the top block of the form. Your last name or surname is a mandatory field that must be present on the form. It is important to note your passport name comes from the machine readable zone found at the bottom of your passport. We will leave the admission number blank. The school information listed for the Pennsylvania State University will also show the campus which you are attending. The school address is for the International Student and Scholar Advising Area of the University Park Campus. This school address will not change. The school code is important for payment of your I-901 fee. The date, January 8, 2003, is the date that Penn State was approved to first issue I-20s. This date will not change. The program of study lists the major that comes from the admissions office or from your department. It may appear different than what is on your admission letter. Your program start date is when you must arrive to campus. The earliest admission date is 30 days prior to the start of classes that is the earliest date you are permitted to use the I-20 to enter the United States. The financial guarantee section lists the average cost for 12 months. We keep these figures at a minimum and this is not a bill and not what you may find on your tuition bill. The signature section at the bottom of the document will have the school official signature, the date which your I-20 was issued. Once you print your document, you should sign in ink, pen, and the, add the date when you sign. A parent or guardian signature is required if you were under 18. Page 2 will contain employment authorization or reduce course load authorization. This area will be blank on your Form I-20 until authorization is granted. Page 2 also contains a travel endorsement or travel signature field. This is required for re-entry into the United States. The signature will be valid for 12 months. Page three is very important. It lists all the rules and regulations that you are responsible for while you are in the United States on your F-1 visa.